Hello, and welcome to this production of our unique product called Event Impact Analysis. You know that many traders follow very closely what is happening in the news. There are many news events that affect stock prices and exchange rates and the values of commodities. Some news events happen unexpectedly, like natural disasters or political scandals. But many important events happen at predefined dates and times, like State of the Nation address and budget speeches. There are also well-defined dates and times when certain economic data is made available to the public. These events that we know are going to take place may hold potential trade opportunities depending on what types of instruments we hold. So Auto Chartist Event Impact Analysis is aimed at giving you a better understanding of how certain economic events impact certain tradable instruments. I refer to it as the EIA for the rest of this video. If I were to ask you, how did the latest non-farm payroll affect the Euro USD? How would you go about answering that question? If you weren't looking at the Euro USD price graph at the time and can therefore not recall it from memory, you'd probably refer back to your charting program to see what happened. But you would need to know at what point in time the event took place exactly so that you can give me a more accurate answer. You'd probably have to check what the date was on the latest release, find it on your charting tool, and you still may need to adjust it for your own time zone. This process can easily take 20 minutes or more. This is exactly what the EIA has already summarized for you. And not only does it display a graph on which the exact time of the latest non-farm payroll is illustrated, with the blue line running down the middle, but it also shows you the same for the previous 11 similar events. So now you will even be able to give me an answer if I ask you, how does the non-farm payroll usually affect the Euro USD? But any trader with experience will ask, what time frame are you looking at? Because some economic events cause huge volatility within minutes after the event takes place, while other events may take hours or days to be assimilated by the market. For this reason, we have added three zoom levels to the EIA, the finest looking at the next four hours of five-minute data, the next up being 12 hours of 15-minute data, and the broadest range showing the two days of 60-minute data that follow the event. In each case, we also provide an analysis summary that relates specifically to the difference between the consensus view of what the market expects the outcome of the event to be and that which is actually realized. Especially for economic events that are based around the release of data, there are several experts that make projections based on the available information to try and predict what the actual figures would turn out to be. Well, sometimes they're spot on, but sometimes they really get it wrong. The difference between the expected value and actual value is what we call the delta, which can be either positive or negative or occasionally zero. Since the delta becomes known the moment when the actual data is released, we can relate this difference from the expectation to the way in which the market reacts on the price graph of an instrument. Here, we look at a very simple linear regression to determine whether the general trend that followed the event was more upward or more downward. Then, at the top of the page, we've given you a summary of all this information. You see, our reasoning is that much of the information that is available around an event is built into price already. But if there is a shocking difference between what the market thought they knew and what they had suddenly learned, then price needs to move to incorporate this new information. So, from this summary, we want to see how often does price movement reflect the delta or the surprise that the market suffered. If there is a good correlation, then this may create opportunities for traders to take a calculated position as soon as the event takes place and the delta is realized. Now we have even made a summary of the summary. Here's how to interpret the summary of the summary. These two blocks indicate the degree of positive correlation, meaning that the delta and price after the event tend to move in the same direction. Now, these two blocks indicate the degree of negative or inverse correlation, meaning that the delta and price after the event tend to move in opposite directions. The two percentages are inversely proportional. 
The closer they both are to 50%, the more we tend to conclude there really is no consistent correlation and that the price does not really seem to be affected by any surprises that this type of event delivers. On the other hand, the further these percentages are from 50% mark, we can conclude that there is a significant correlation or significant inverse correlation and that, judging from past events, you might statistically expect price to move in a predictable way after this type of event gives us a startling revelation of the gaps in our knowledge. Of course, we cannot suggest to you that past events can accurately predict future events, but what we can show you is an obvious correlation of lack thereof. And you need to decide how you want to make use of this information. We are always at your disposal for questions and feedback, Just email us on support at autochartist.com and we would gladly assist you in any way we can. Best of luck. Thank you for watching.